program for the men at the World Championships 2016. He's been at the top of the pile before. He's in third place at the moment. Javier Fernandez has skated a blinder, so for Patrick to beat him would be, uh, I think, a massive hill to climb. It's, it, anything's possible, but maybe not that. But could he get a silver here? Patrick Chan of Canada. And a selection of music by Frederick Chopin. Now he's skating last. He likes to skate early on when the ice is better. The ice is a bit rough here. This triple toe to start. That was meant to be a quarter. It's a knowledgeable crowd here. You could tell the crowd realized that wasn't what it was meant to be. And you notice that patch of wet in front of the judges. That very unusual at World Championship to see discrepancy on the ice. A little tight on the landing of the axle. But better than the shot program, obviously. was very good. He does tend to get that close to the barrier. Very close on the short two, and I've seen him in other competitions. Leaves it really late before that jump. renowned as the master of the blade, the master of the skating skills. He does have excellent quality over the ice. forward panel, difficult to do. That was meant to be triple axel. This is a lot of points, seven, eight points gone in popping that triple axel. And that's probably a medal out of the window. <laughs> triple loop, double toe, double loop. I can't remember when I've ever seen water on the ice in a World Figure Skating Championship. With so many people in the arena, it can change the air temperature and uh, that can affect the quality of the ice. Another pop triple, just double flip instead of the intended triple.
Well, he is a supreme skater. We've seen it time and time again. Three times world champion. You don't get to be unless you are supreme in being able to perform. But that was not how it was today. Did not look 100% at ease out there. He's looking at year by year how he feels. Of course, the Olympics, he was second in it in 2014. How great it would be to have a gold, but I'm not sure that's his complete driver. So he's not happy, shaking his head. That was Patrick Chan, the last skater in this event from Canada. Yeah, I'm sad, Nicky, because I know... Oh, I wonder what he's saying. Oh, he's complaining about the ice. Oh, dear. And he is, this is uh, 12, 12 on. It's the end of the second group since the ice resurface. So the ice is bound to be chuffed up a little bit by all the other skaters. I'm just sad, Nicky, because he was quoted as saying in the press that he would make his decision upon continuing on to Pyeongchang Olympics based upon how this season went. Whoa, it's a bit of a Midori Ito there, crashing into the barrier. Um, so I, I, this won't help his campaign and consideration for another two years. Looking at the stats, Nicky, when Patrick last won the World Championships, he ha he'd scored 267 points when he last won Worlds. And then last year, Javi, when he won 2015, it was 273 points total for his win. But now, in this past season, when Yuzuru keeps posting these monster world scores, it's got to be over 300 now to be world champion. And that's what's going to be a big challenge for, for Patrick moving forward with only one quad. He only has one quad. Both Yuzuru and Javi are doing two quads. Much more technically difficult. You're right. The ice. You noted it. He noted it. The ice. David Wilson saying, come on, come on, cheer up now. Come on, come on. Come on. So what will the judges do with it? The artistry will be there. It'll be lacking a bit on technical. 171.9. Seventy-one point nine. Says him in fifth place. So.